Caw, 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 bang, <coughs> I'm dead. I've seen this movie before. So this, this is what I chose. I chose Camp Happy Trails for Terror From Above. We're going to use Melanie, the final girl that comes with Terror From Above. And I do have one weird clarification. Let me find the card here. Okay, so in the, in the overview video, I had mentioned easy being save one of the special victims, normal for two and three for hard. But when I was looking back at it, I realized, look at the top right there where it says how to win. To win, you must save all of the special victims using normal victim save rules, two special victims, or hard, three special victims. Nowhere does it say anything about easy up there. I don't know how that got in my head. So I started setting this up to get all ready, and then I was reading the cards that come with it, okay? And I actually checked in the printed book as well, and it says the exact same thing the PDF says. But when you look at the cards, it has easy on there, right? In the middle, decide before you begin if you want to play easy, one special victim, normal, two special victims, or hard, three special victims. So Maybe it was just a misprint in the PDF, uh, so and it makes complete sense to have three different difficulty modes, right? Um, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. So in any case, we're going to try our hand at normal here. We're going to do two special victims, and let's get on with the setup. So there's no killer board, obviously. We put this out here for the bloodlust. The horror level starts at four. That's written up there as well. It says, place a bird token with the three birds side up on the K space indicated on the location setup card. So wherever the killer would be, we start with three uh, birds. Place one bird token on each empty space that has no victims or the final girl. So let's, oh, let's get on with this. Let's mix up all of our goodies here. Come on, we need three hearts. Well, let's, let's hope we don't need three hearts. What did I do with my final girl card? Did I throw her in the pile? I did. <laughs> Okay, Melanie. All right, so then items. We have a map. Ooh, that's a, Isn't that a good one for getting stuff? Mysterious pills. I like those. They lower the horror. Or heal in a pinch. And a whistle. Not a single weapon. Spend a time to use the whistle once per action phase. When used, all victims adjacent to you will move to your space. And then all enemies target final girl and walk to her, which mean in our case would be spawn more birds. As long as you have the whistle, one more victim will follow you. Hey, that's kind of cool. All right, what do we have here? We have meditation hour. Let's get some, some victims on the board here. Let's get this party started. Final girl over here. Nobody at the cabins. Two people at makeout point. I wonder what they're up to. The fire pit. The, is that the docks? The docks. Somebody at the cliff. We're going to need a three bird in the lake it's a good place for them to be away from where i am and boom there's our setup card done let's go ahead and pull an event card and see what we okay so this one remember we can't use special victim event card so that one's out of the game oh that's a bummer <laughs> clingy campers so there's no penalty for the first victim you saved during the action phase for each additional victim saved i lose I take a damage. I lose one heart. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I think we're good to go here. We've got our finale card that I get. Yeah, I got this. We've got five hit points for Melanie, who's going to wreck some bird face here, I think. So let's... I'm convinced the way to do this is to walk, right? I mean, we're going to have to walk and sprint and get these people out of here, scoop up some pills and a whistle maybe along the way. Hey. So first thing, right out of the gate, we're going to fail a walk. So as I tend to do on turn run, turn one, short rest and weak attack can go. That's going to cost us one time to move one space. So we'll go, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe we, we can walk anyway and just take two time damage and take one hit point damage and walk one space anyway, even if we fail. I'm kind of okay with that because we get a second shot at this. And I'm not, and we still have our short rest. Like we could do that twice and then get lucky on a short rest. But I feel like our walking and our sprint cards are going to be our saviors this time. All right, we have one success on a walk, and now ooh, we could have two. So we could we could walk two spaces. So we could go one, two, a little bit close. Oh, you know what? I never did. I even read it out loud. Hold on a second. I've got to put out the birds. We've got to have birds everywhere. I was like, wow, there's no birds out here. 
we're doing a good cleanup job. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's say if that's one success on a walk, maybe we just come down here. There's no birds in our space. It is going to cost us one time. So that's not so bad. We can attempt to focus, right? I'm a big fan of having more dice. Let's roll it. One success. Okay. So that's minus one horror, minus one time. So we're down to three times. I think our best bet, you know what we could do? No, I mean, we have to keep moving and we don't have any walking, right? So we have to take a sprint. So there's two. That We're down to one. Let's take a close call. Let's just play it kind of safe. We'll reset that. We'll go here. And now the way these crazy birds work is they attack in any spot where there's, where there's three birds in the final girl spot, right? So there's no birds in our spots. There's only three out here in the in the lake. So I'm not too worried about them. And then we spawn some birds. Five and a six, of course. Just what I needed. Two, uh, two successes. So, so we have the, the nearest victim's space, which is our space. We could spawn six birds. And you can only have three birds in a space. Is that right? So then we're going to put three birds there, and they have to spread out. So we'll put three birds there. I guess that's the best bet. I mean, otherwise it would have been... Oh, I, okay, so otherwise... We could pick our space and as number six and spawn five birds. So that's actually one less bird, right? So that's that's the better bet for us. Okay. What did I do with the... Oh, I keep doing that. Okay. Now, terror card for the birds. The birds are attacking. Attack in your space and all spaces where birds outnumber victims. There's no birds. This is a good one to draw early. Oh, no, no, it's not, though, because if no attacks occur, <laughs> spawn more birds. Oh, well, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. They're in our space now. We just put three here. Okay. Oh, man. So then three birds do three points of damage to one guy. That's tricky to remember, too. Take a look at the top left here. Bird attacks. When resolving this icon, an attack will take place in the space with the final girl as long as there is at least one bird and in every space with three birds. Birds attack one target in their space, dealing damage equal to the number of birds in the space. So we're going to lose one victim there. Okay. We're going to lose one victim here. We're going to push that up and have to draw an event card anyway. Let's see here. So am I missing anything else? They attacked. If no attacks occurred, so we got attacked. So we have the girlfriend. So we can't have the girlfriend. So let's draw another one. The secret tunnel. This is a good one for us. So I don't have a solid game plan yet. But I... I'm going to do the docks and this utility shed. I like the idea of being able to zip around over here because that's one, two, three, four, five people we could save and maybe we could snag the dude at the cliff on the way, right? Okay, so that's good. Unfortunately, we already have a dead person, okay? Oh, and they're going to panic now. The one in our space is going to panic. Uh-oh. Two is going to send them over to the right, it looks like. So they're back in a space with a bird, uh, another bird. Now it's back to us, and we have a sprint, a focus, a weak attack. I don't want to do the weak attack because I don't want to, you know, roll poorly. Let's do a... Well, if I do... Oh, the focus won't get us down to three dice. So let's just do the sprint now. Oh, one success. Man, that's tempting. What is two dice going to get me? I mean, what is two... two oh, it's a sprint. One, two... Oh, we have to do this. Okay, we have to make this work because we could go one, two, three. So let's dump focus and a short rest. Let's dump, oh man. Yeah, I mean, they're free. Let's dump those two for two successes on a sprint. That's going to cost us one time, but lets us move three spaces, right? One, two, three, and we can evac these two people. Oh, look at how sweet this is. We can go, oh, what did I ditch? A sprint and a focus. Oh, man. Okay. So we could take one damage because we have the clingy campers thing and we released two people. So we could go move two spaces. Watch this. One, two. And now we have an another person that didn't didn't injure us to, to release them. And then we could say take a guard reaction card. We're in a space with a bird, so they you know are likely going to attack us. And... You know, we could just kind of play it safe and say move one space as well, 
right? What else do we have here? Weak attack, guard, and close call. That's fine. Let's call it. We have five points. You know what my favorite things to take with five points are? Sprint and a distraction. <laughs> so we're going to take all of our cards back. That gives us four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Whoops. Eight cards going into turn three won't be so bad. I think that's pretty good, actually. Okay, we're going to put all this stuff back. The birds are now going to attack. They're going to attack here and here and where I am, and there's no birds. Then we're going to spawn more birds. And they are everywhere. Three and six. Of course. So three and six. So three says the nearest place. One, two, one, two. We have our pick. So three is spawn birds at the nearest searchable area. And they're both two spaces away from me. But we'd have to put six birds out there? Or I could put six, three birds in my space. Let's do that. Because remember, a, a fail condition of this is... Destroying birds, where is it? How you lose if there are three birds on every space or I die. Okay, or the final girl dies. Okay, so now we have to draw a terror card. Ah, my least favorite type of card. Plus two horror. And then it says... If there's at least one special victim in play, spawn more birds. We don't have any special victims out yet. We're not going to panic. Everybody's calm, cool, and collected. And uh, upkeep, I've got nothing. I've got clingy campers, and I can't get rid of that. So I guess it's back to us. So now we have one walk, a distraction, a sprint, focus, and walk. Oh, see, that's such a bummer that we're so far away from... from, from here, you know, having three dice, we were just right there. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's let's start with some focus rolls here. Let's see if we can get at it. Well, no matter what I do, no matter what I do, I'm not going to succeed. Should I try to kill one of those three birds that are right there? The problem is, is if we fail at this, it's so so bad. And I think we're not in that bad a shape for birds just yet. So maybe we... Let's start burning some focus cards down here. Let's see if we're burning some horror down here. Let's see what we can do there. We have one success. We could have two successes, which is kind of worth it. If we could drop... I mean, weak attack. And... God, I really want to keep all my movement. Distraction is coming up next. That leaves us guard and close call. Guard we got for free. Maybe we ditch close call. Mm, no, we got to ditch guard. We got to play it safe. We got to ditch guard. So we're going to ditch these two for two successes. So that'll lower that by one, but it also gives us plus two time, which is the real reason I'm doing that, right? It's basically this guard card we got for free. We're cashing it in now for two more time. So, I mean, I could buy it right back, but, but you know, gain the benefits of the uh, not having to spend a time right now. Um, we could do a distraction, and boy, would I love to see two successes on this. Let's see what we can do here. About one. Better than zero, <laughs> okay? So it's minus one horror, but plus one time, so we're up to nine now. All right, let's see. Boy, we could run through there and get... Oh, I need three people out of here, though. Okay, so let's, let's see what walk does for us. The bigger problem is we're only going to have one sprint available for purchase next time. So there's one success on a walk is going to cost us one time, move one space, and then one, two, three. Yeah, we need to have a we need to have some really good rolls here. So, <laughs> and gosh, I'm I'm known for how well I roll at this game. Huh? One success. Okay, so one success on a walk, again, is minus one time. We can walk one space up to here. So now, this is interesting. We've got a close call and a sprint. If we could pull off two successes, we could get these two people out of here. Oh, my. How about two fails? I have to burn the close call. I rolled two ones. We're down to five time. All right, we got one success on a sprint, it looks like, and I can't, I'm all out of rerolls, so that's going to be minus one time and move up to two spaces. Now, two spaces is going to put us either one, oh, look at that. I can go through the secret tunnel and down here and get those people out of there, 
but then I'm really far away from everybody else, and I kind of don't want to be. Let's go one. Oh, if I go up there, though, we're going to die. So I don't really have a choice, do I? Right? Because I don't have a way to def... Oh, well, I, I could. I could buy cards. Let's do that. Let's make sure. I have four points. Let's buy a retaliate. Let's go, <laughs> Let's go there. We'll have... Oh, no, but we won't have any walking. So we're going to buy, for two points, a guard, and for two points, a sprint next turn. And that's what we're going to do with our four points there. That way we can at least guard from this guy who's about to smack us. Okay, distraction, focus, weak attack, and guard. This is not ideal, but I, I don't want to be too far away from more people. Like, like if I'm up here, we can, we can rescue people up here. I don't want to get back down here. That's a terrible place to be right now. Okay, so let's have these birds attack us. We're going to play guard. Guard is going to let us roll two dice and attempt to not get somebody murderized. Good deal. One success is all we need. Okay, and then we're going to roll to spawn more birds. We're looking at two and two, so we don't even have a choice. Two and two gives us any single space gets two birds. I'm okay with that because we can do two birds way over there, way far out of where I care about them. Terror card time. We have, oh my God. <laughs> Plus two horror is awful. And then that says if there's at least one special victim in play, more bad mojo. So nobody died, so there's no panic phase, but it's back to us. That's so lame. I'm so tired of this fighting, this horror. I just want to roll three dice. Okay, let's do a focus roll. See if we can push it down again a little bit. So minus one time, minus one horror. Just flung that card. And then, I mean, whatever, man, let's just try to sprint for it, right? If we if we sprint successfully, <laughs> twice, if we had two successes, we could evacuate, run back, and run up the cliff and get that third third person. Not gonna happen. Well, there it is. Not gonna happen. Okay, but we got two though. So it's gonna cost us one time, and we can move two spaces, I wonder if it's worth it to go one, two over here. Well, if we go one and we evac these two people, I still take a point of damage because we have this stupid clingy campers thing. But, ooh, I could heal both of them or I could reduce horror by one, which I'm, I'm a big fan, and then heal one. And we still have a short rest card with one success. Good enough. That gives us one more hit point back and costs us one time. So we're down to three time. And we're about to get hit in the face because we're standing in a spot with, with a bird. But I, I feel like I can eat one damage and be okay, right? Because the damage is going to come first. The problem is going to be if they attack a second time. Now we only have two points, I mean three points, Ooh, you know what? We have two walk cards. Let's take a close call on a guard, just in case. Okay, let's reset this, put our cards back. That, that was all three points we had. But I like having that guard. So now they're going to attack us, and I'm just going to eat the one damage. I'm just going to let it happen. Then we're going to roll for more bird spawns. We have a six and a four. Four is the nearest evacuation point to six is the spot that I'm on. So. Let's do the spot that I'm on for the six. So we have to spawn four birds somehow. So there's, if I flip that, that goes from one to three. And then we have to spawn two more birds adjacent. Now, what does that say? Let's see if I can find it real fast here. Does it say, where is it where it talks about the way it spreads? Spawning birds, you may choose... Birds always spawn at least once per round. Birds need okay. If birds need to be placed in a space that already has three birds, place them in an adjacent space of your choice instead. So I can't split them, right? Like I would love to put one bird here and one bird there, <laughs> but it sounds like one of these spots is getting two birds. So uh, one, two. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's flip that one then. So there's 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 all of the birds that we had to spawn. Let's pop a. Oh my. God. God, place one more victim at the cabins. This is terrible. 
and then plus two horror again. I just can't get on top of the horror. We're just going to have to just do this two dice, I think, the whole way through. Man. Okay, so there's no horror roll. I mean, no panic roll. There's going to be no upkeep. We need to get one more stupid person out of here. Oh, my God. This is making me angry. All right. <laughs> so let's do... I don't have any distraction cards. Walk, one success. Ooh, we could pay for two, though. Do we have anything we can give up? I kind of don't mind giving up a weak attack and a focus. Like, I almost have to give up on the focus game here, right? Yeah, we, we still have another walk, so let's stick with just one for now. So we'll go one time down, move one space. I'm going to go over here. And yeah, now I can't, I can't get out anyway. So we're going to do that. We're going to try to walk again, I guess. We're going to fail miserably. We're going to just suck up the damage because I don't want to be in a space with a bird. So it's one damage minus two time. Man. Okay, so now I guess... Oh, I don't have the heal I thought I had. I thought it was... Oh, no, it's right here. All right, I mean, we may as well roll the focus for what it is because we'll probably get screwed here in a minute. <laughs> okay, so we have one success. That's minus one time. Yeah, because look at how little time we're going to have going into this now. So now we need to really think hard about what's going to happen here. There's no bird in our spot, so we're going to not have to worry about that. We're going to spawn some, and I don't know what's going to happen on the terror card, of course, but all I can afford is a short rest and a focus, right? Because they're free, and then two more points, which is going to buy us a sprint. Yeah, maybe that's worth it. Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. Maybe we just Hope that we don't get smacked in the face. Okay, so now an attack comes out, and there's there's no triple. So the triple birds are are all empty, and there's no bird in our space. And then we're gonna spawn more birds. Oh my god, that was the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Six and six, which means I have to put three birds on my space and then spread three birds somewhere else. I guess they go up to make out point, I guess. I don't know. I don't like it, but I got to put six birds somewhere. Why can't I roll two sixes when I'm rolling to, to do a sprint? <laughs> okay. Why does that never happen? All right. So then we got to draw a terror card. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, no. Bird wall. Victims may not be saved at an exit if there are any bird tokens on the space. Each time a bird is killed, place a bird token on this card. When this card has five or more bird tokens on it, remove this card from the game. So suddenly, so well, I mean, that's not so bad, right? I mean, like, we have to clear out the exits now. That's okay. That's, that's not the end of the world, I think. Okay. That's still, that's still brutal, though. Okay, so uh, no panic phase, no upkeep phase. Back to us. We only need to get one stinking person out of here. Uh, the problem is there's three birds on that stinking space. So <laughs> if we could go one, two, three, we could get down here. That'd put us in a good spot. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with our sprint. Let's see what happens. Are you kidding me? A one and a three. I guess we have to burn close call. Oh, I forgot to put these out last time. As I tend to do. All right. Have better rolls. Oh, man. So I've only got two, two spaces on a sprint. And that's going to cost us one time. And we can move two spaces, which is one, two. And the problem now is that we're in a spot with birds. So let's roll a focus. And we can't get these people out of there. Focus is two successes. That's plus two time and minus one horror. That puts us down to three horror. That's really good. But I have no way to kill that many birds. So let's do a weak attack. One success. So we take, oh no, we take a damage and we kill one bird. So we're going to do that and that. Why didn't I go down? I could have... That would have probably been the smarter thing, because I could have just walked down here and killed the one bird, and now I'm in a bad spot. I have a plan, though. It's not a very good plan. All right, so we're going to short rest. We still have a guard, so I, th I think we might be okay. And if we can heal one, minus one time and heal one, yeah, we're, we're going to be fine. I, I hope. <laughs> okay, 
So now we're going to take our card. We're done. We're going to take our cards back here. And we do not have our weak attack. That's in here. So we got to remember now that we have to fight and defend ourselves. Ooh, maybe we have four points. Maybe retaliate is just the answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to spend four points on retaliate. We'll reset that. We'll put these cards back out. Love me some retaliate. And now the birds are going to attack me. Or they're going to attack the victim in our spot. But remember, the special rules for this scenario say we can actually use retaliate on them. Are you sure? Okay, well. Uh, I need at least one success there, Jim. So I guess we're going to ditch a walk and a focus to get one success. Which is reduce the damage by two, which is good. Because they just hit the victim for two. So zero. And we do a damage, so we're going to kill another bird. But this means that we're just, like, chilling on this spot now, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, and then they are going to resp they're going to spawn again. And they spawn... Oh, wait a minute. And then these... This person died. Hold on, I almost forgot. This person died during the attack as well. Because there's three birds here, too. So that one person died. And caused that to go up, which caused that to go up. Okay, then we rolled for the spawn, which was four and five. Okay, so four is nearest exit. I don't want that. And five is nearest victim space, which is right where we're sitting. So <laughs> this just got really bad. So if we pick five for nearest victim space, that's us. And we have to spawn four birds somehow. So we can spawn two by flipping that over. And then we can spawn two more by flipping that over to an adjacent space. Oh my gosh. Then we still have a terror card to deal with. Maybe I maybe it's time to just run away. Oh good. Spawn more birds. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Four and a five. So four and a five is gonna no matter what put us over the three, so we won't have to re-roll. So let's just get these birds out here. Oh man. Let's just get these birds out here. I don't know what to do because that's the same problem. Four and five is sitting right on us. So if we pick five, the nearest victim space, that's us. We have to spawn four birds. So that puts three birds here and one bird somewhere else, like up there, I guess. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh... Oh, and this person would have panicked last time, too. They would have rolled down the hill or something. Three. Yeah, they would have ran down. Oh, my God. So now it's back to us, and we don't have anything. I played a retaliate. Yeah, we're in trouble. We have a guard and a walk, and I neither one of those do us any good. Uh-oh. All was was well for a little bit, and now it's not. And we can't take retaliate because we just played it. Maybe now we take. I mean, we have. We we didn't do anything last time, right? What did we do? We. We, we spent our four points on a retaliate. Right. And we attacked the bird and rested. So now here we are with a guard and a walk, <laughs> which aren't going to do us any good. So, I mean, do we just spend it all on critical blow? And then we take our free cards back. Like, we don't do anything this turn. We just kind of stand there, right? Because walk and guard, I can't do anything, and I can't evacuate this person. But... If we can, yeah, and I need retaliate. That person's going to die. That person is going to die if we don't do anything. That person is going to die. And I walking isn't going to, I can't walk anywhere where there's not three birds, right? Oh, I guess I could get, way, I'd have to get two successes on two dice to get way over there to get this person out of the line of fire. 
And I suppose, looking at it, that's our only move. Because I can't escape because of the wherever that card is, this bird wall thing. I can't seem to kill enough of them. So we have to roll two successes on a walk or that person dies. I mean, that's it. That's the end of story. And we didn't. We rolled zero successes. <laughs> okay. So zero successes. I don't even, it, it's not even worth it to take the damage. Let's just cost the two time. Yeah, and now we're in real trouble. So we have four points, not six points. That person's going to die anyway. Oh, that got real bad real fast. I mean, I guess we take Furious Strike for four. Well, that guy's going to die, so we're going to need a way to kill three birds, which we don't have. We don't have a way to kill three birds. We have a guard card and four points to spend. So we can take these free ones back. And then we could take, yeah, let's spend the four points on Furious Strike. I don't know what else to do. I'm kind of out of options here. I'm just surrounded by birds. <laughs> okay, so we're done. We did absolutely nothing there. Uh, let's go ahead and have the birds attack the person. We're going to have to play guard and hope that we roll two successes to guard all the damage. Uh, I mean, we, we have to. We don't have a choice. So let's dump Focus and Short Rest for our, our, our two successes. That way the person doesn't die. Okay, the person lives. Now more birds are gonna spawn. Four and six, are you sh kidding me? Four is the spot we're sitting on and six is me. This has happened over and over and over. Three times in a row, I think they've spawned right on my face. So if I do me six which we can't do right i mean like i feel like it's gaming the system but like how else do you do this i have to put four birds somewhere so if i put if i put three birds here and two birds here three four four oh that's one too many birds let's do that i guess that that way it just spreads out from where we are i mean we're getting down to the point where there's birds everywhere and there's not really much of an option here all right, let's see what the tarot card says. Oh, goody! Plus two horror again. And then, oh, at least we don't spawn them this time. Man, I just <laughs> I can't keep on top of the horror here. Oh, these birds are nuts. Okay, no panic phase. Back over to us. We ha oh, we have all these two, right? Focus, walk, walk. What did I spend? No, we don't have anything. We have a weak attack and a furious strike. And then I spent those to make sure guard worked. Okay, then. Here we go. The trick is we have to kill all three of these birds. So let's let's not roll no successes on this. Two successes. I love to see it. So that's one dead bird. So we're going to flip that over. Flip this over. I only killed one, but I'm going to put one on my bird wall here. Did I forget to put one on the bird wall earlier? I think I did. And then we're going to play Furious Strike. And we are absolutely going to roll... Two successes because we're champions. No, we're not. Oh, we rolled zero successes. Even better. So zero successes is I take a damage. Horror goes up, and it forcefully ends my turn. On the upside, we're going to lose really quickly. So, <laughs> okay. Wowzers. Okay, so let's spend our six points on. I mean, we're going to have to take... Let's take guard and retaliate, right? I mean, all I'm trying to do is stand there and evacuate this person and save them. And that's all I'm trying to do. And I can't make that happen. All right, Furious Strike, Weak Attack. I'm going to put all this stuff. I feel like guard, short rest is free, and focus is free. Okay, birds, have at thee. They're going to attack me. We're going to retaliate with one... S shoot. One, one roll. Oh, thank God. Okay. So that's all we need, though, because there's only two birds there now. So let's reduce damage by two and do one damage to the birds. So it's one more dead bird. Then what's going to happen now? Then this person's going to die. They're going to push up that. Oh, and unleash a dark power. That's always good. And then this person's going to die and push up the horror one more, which is going to cost me that, which is discard a terror card. Oh, man. Okay, so during upkeep, if there are three birds in your space, add two horror. Oh my god. 
Let's see what their terror card says. Oh my god! Another horror! So, which means this goes up again, which means another terror card. Uh-oh. Is discarded. Oh my god. And then it says, instead of spawning birds at... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it spawned birds. Instead of spawning as normal, roll one die and place that many birds in the nearest searchable point. So, five birds have to somehow go here, of which we can only put one, meaning four more birds have to go somewhere. So, two... Three, four, I guess. That's that's it. And then we only have that space, that space. That's the space I'm in. That space. So these three, that and that, are it for bird spawns. And then we lose because we've been overrun by birds. And all I need to do is kill this bird in the spot I'm in. And then I gotta go, you know, evacuate people, which is super easy with one, one die. And I have no way to attack this bird. This is brutal. Woosa. Okay. Oh, we're not done. Insurmountable odds. When spawning birds, you must select the higher result for number of birds to place. Oh my god. Okay, so now people died. That guy's gonna... Oh, how did that guy... Oh, I just put it there. Um, so now... Oh no, the person standing on me is gonna panic. And the cabin's guy. Cabin's guy... You're going to roll a one. Oh, you're going to stand there. And the guy standing on me. What do they need? A one, a two, a three. Oh, so they're leaving no matter what. So all of this standing around was for nothing. Two. So they're going to go the worst way possible. <laughs> okay. So it's back to us. I mean, all I can do is roll with what I've got. A focus. Fail. It's minus two. We're going to do. Oh, good. That was my only one. We're going to do a walk, one die. I mean, let's take the damage and walk one space over. And it costs two time? Oh my god. Yeah, there's there's no doing this. <laughs> We've got ourselves in, a, in, a, in, in an impossible situation here. Uh, so we failed walking again. I can, I'm not going to, oh, I get to roll an extra die though, because I'm down to my last hit point. Okay, so maybe we didn't fail walking. So we're minus one time, and we came back over here, but we still don't have a way to evacuate because we have one stupid bird sitting on us. We now only have one point for, for cards. So let's take a close call, right? And that's all we can do. Now the birds are going to spawn first. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Five and two... Where's two? Any single space. Because again, five is right on me. I can't. Oh, I, can't, I have no choice, right? When spawning birds, you must select the higher result for number of birds. Right. So two is where they go. Any space gets five birds. So here's, I guess, one bird, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. Oh, I think it's over because. We only have those two single birds out now, and then they attack me right now. All I can do is guard. I do get to roll two dice. They're going to attack the victim. And I fail. I failed the roll, Jim. All right, so let's dump close call and see what happens. Okay, so they, they survived the one point of damage. And, oh, I didn't put these back out. If you can't tell, I'm not too happy about what's going on here. <laughs> I just, these, this bird wall is literally a wall of birds. They just stopped me cold. And then more birds are going to spawn. I love how I roll great when I'm rolling for bird spawns. Look at that, five and six. So five, nearest victim space, that's me. So, uh... Six birds have to spawn on me. I can only put two there and two there, and that is game. There are three birds on every single spot. And I'm sure I missed something, because that's a lot to keep track of. Like, I feel like this guy probably died, and I forgot. Yeah, that guy would have died. Oh, yeah, well, after I tried to defend, then this guy got attacked anyway and would have died right there. Oh, my. Well, there it is. These birds are insane. These birds are insane. The worst part is it wouldn't have been bad if it wasn't for the bird wall. I didn't change my tactic fast enough, I guess, and should have just loaded up on every damage card I could, but I, they're expensive. 
you know, this is four and this is six. What else do you have? You know, I was buying retaliate because they were going to attack. Man, I didn't even get close on this. A lot of fun. I kind of want to try it again, though, just to uh, now that I see how it all shakes out. It's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, how it how it does with with shuffled up dice. So thanks for watching. And oh, let's we got to check. Oh, nothing there. And uh, yeah, wow, those birds are, are nasty. <laughs> okay, well, remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. We'll see you later.